Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading. This is a how they feel about you love reading. This will be for those of you who already are in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind already. And we're gonna be looking at their true intentions or feelings towards you, what the main energy is around your connection, what actions or energy they're bringing to the connection as well. So I'm gonna get right into it. All right, for Aries. What can you tell me about the connection that Aries has with this other person? What's the main energy in this connection? Whoa. Between Aries and this other person. What's the main energy for Aries in love? Main energy in this connection. Balancing act. Imbalance, indecision, juggling. You're trying to restore balance in a situation. So there could be an imbalance in your connection right now. Maybe one of you feels more about the other or one of you is putting more effort than the other. One of you might have stronger feelings than the other person. There just could be a multitude of things here, but someone's trying to restore the balance. To the bottom of the deck, love letter, message, truth, confession. A message is on its way. Interesting, maybe they'll be doing um, or trying to restore balance with communication of some sort. It could be written, text, DM, email, whatever. So I'm going to just set the, the oracle cards down first. Let's look at their true intentions. I'm using the Soul's Journey Lesson cards here. All of the decks that I'm using are linked down below. True intentions, Spirit, that this person has towards Aries. True feelings or intentions towards Aries. True feelings or intentions towards Aries, Spirit. What is this person's true feelings? or intentions towards air. Okay, guilt. Okay, I've gotten this card before in one of the signs. I can't remember right now, but it's uh, either an air sign or earth sign that I did that had this card, guilt. So someone feels guilty here. What's at the bottom? Grief, and it's not, they're not coping well with this guilt. Maybe your person, um, feels like something is their fault. Maybe they are at fault for whatever imbalance is taking place right now or feel that they are. So what potential actions will they take towards you or what energy are they bringing spirit into this connection with Aries? Potential actions or energy that this person is bringing to into this connection with Aries. Potential actions or energy that this person is bringing. This is the Enchanted Map Oracle cards that I'm using here for Aries. Potential action or energy they're bringing into this connection. Coming apart. Again, I just am picking up this person's not doing very well. There might have been a separation between you. Maybe this person um, was the one that caused a separation or a disconnect. See how there's like a rupture there between these two faces or two people, I guess you could say. Because I have two people up here. So I don't think your person's coping well, Aries, with the fact that you are apart. Um, they are feeling guilty. They want to restore balance is what I'm seeing here. Bottom of the deck, I have strength. I feel like they're trying to be strong. I don't think it's working. I just am not picking up good energy here. It's almost like your person's really struggling, whoever this is. So let's get into the tarot for Aries in love. What does Aries need to know regarding this connection? Keep in mind this reading is a general love reading. It will not resonate with every Aries watching. Do not try to make this story fit. If it's not your reading, that's okay. If it's not your reading, just check back next week or check out your other placements if they're more prominent in your birth chart for Aries. 
Okay, Aries, let's get into this. I'm going to look at the main energy here first. What is the main energy here between Aries and this other person's spirit? When it comes to this connection, what's going on in this connection here with Aries? What's going on? Oh, I got two. Two of Wands reversed and the Hangman. Interesting that I got the Hangman because the Hangman is someone who has been thinking and thinking, kind of in limbo here, hanging around, surrendering, letting things like happen, going with the flow type of energy. But while he's hanging there in suspension, he's able to see something differently. He's able to get a new perspective on a situation or has gained enlightenment about some sort of behavior or past occurrence or something like that. They, they can see things differently. I feel like your person, Aries, um, has just been kind of hanging around with these emotions that they're carrying and they haven't done anything about it. I think the more they think about it, the more their mind changes. And then I have here the two of wands reversed. This can mean a few things. I'm going to have to clarify and see. Two of wands reversed. I don't know why I'm like stuck trying to interpret this card because like I know what this card reverse means, but I don't want to say what it means, if that makes sense. This card could mean um, someone that wants to kind of just go after something. Typically when it's upright, it signifies like patience, having options, the potential, choosing a path, etc. But when it's reversed, it could mean um, that there's like hesitation, delays. It could even mean infidelity because this card upright is like someone has their cake but wants to also have more than that <laughs> it's like somebody that is not satisfied with what they have their eye is constantly wandering around at something else so it could also symbolize symbolize infidelity but i'm not picking up any of that for some reason with this card it's almost like they don't know what to do like they don't know what to do about what they have realized i'm gonna have to clarify that later so let's get into their true intentions here. What are their true intentions towards Aries? Just want to quickly mention uh, thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed to the videos. We've hit 50,000 subscribers, which is crazy to me. Um, thank you so much for your comments, your support. If you enjoy my readings, please consider liking the video or subscribing. It helps the channel grow. And it's just, I don't know. I, I can't believe that we've grown so much. So thank you. All right, for Aries. What is the true intention that this person has towards Aries? What are their true feelings or intentions towards Aries? See, judgment. There's been some sort of awakening for your person, Aries. Like, they've realized something here with judgment. They're evaluating the past, thinking back on the past with judgment. And I don't know. It's almost like there's some sort of um, awakening that's taking place here. Some sort of change. Um, upright judgment is re like all about rebirth, awakening, resurrection. Um, so I feel like that your person's waking up to a realization of some sort. And whatever this realization is, I feel like, now I'm wondering if this was upright or reverse. I think it was reverse because it just felt like this. Um, the nine of swords reverse is like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Is no longer being affected by your fear, your doubts, your guilt. It's like this awakening is helping your person cope with their guilt. 
And I feel also that your person is like very slow to come to this realization because as I'm trying to interpret these messages, I keep like hitting blocks. Like typically I'm very quick when it comes to certain cards, especially like certain cards that I know very well or have a deep, like a serious connection or a big connection to. But for some reason, every time I pull out a card, there's like a stop that, I, <laughs> that I'm doing. And I feel like your person, either they were resisting this for a long time or they didn't know what to do with their guilt. It just kept growing and growing. Tell me more about this person's true intentions or feelings towards Aries. What can you tell me about their true intentions or feelings towards Aries? Five of Wands reversed. The fighting is over. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. Four of Cups reversed. Definitely. This is all about a renew renewed interest. Opening yourself up to new opportunities again. Not being closed off, having a change of mind, change of heart. And I feel like this is what's happening with your person. Now with the five of wands reversed, this signifies that the fighting is over. That this person no longer wants to fight or have conflict with you. Someone here is waving the white flag. Someone's willing to compromise and work together again with the five of wands reversed. So what potential actions or energy are they bringing to this connection? What potential action or energy are they bringing to this connection with Aries? Potential action or energy that they're bringing to this connection with Aries. And I'm going to clarify all of these and get more information. Page of Cups reverse. See, this is heartbreak. This is someone completely, their illusion, their dream has shattered. You know, they're very in their emotions. And I'm telling you, your person's not dealing well with a separation. This is someone who is really um, affected by their feelings. Tell me more. What actions or energy are they bringing to this connection with Aries? Death, change, Scorpio energy here. There's some sort of change taking place here. Some sort of transformation. They might be ending something or again, this is regarding an ending of some sort. I get one more. Potential actions or energy they're bringing to this connection. Could be that they're heartbroken over an ending or a change that took place here. King of Wands reversed, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. Again, someone's not coping well. It's almost like with this King of Wands reverse, their actions or behavior, it's like they weren't thinking of the consequences. They were maybe very impulsive They weren't, uh, maybe they were trying to uh, control a situation in their favor. Uh, maybe they were trying to make something happen to their benefit and it backfired. Because they're way in their emotions about this. I feel like they're thinking about recovery. The healing of a connection with the Five of Pentacles reversed here overcoming the struggle, overcoming this energy of being apart with the five of pentacles reverse. So I'm going to use this really adorable deck that I just got um, 
to clarify, this is the Smithwaite Centennial Edition, and it's like the size for my hands, because as you all, well, I don't know. If you're new here, my hands are small, so cards just fall out of my hands because they're, you know, my hands can't sometimes fit certain decks. So anyways, so let's clarify. Help me clarify these energies for Aries. Help me clarify these energies for Aries, please. So I want to start with this Two of Wands reversed here. Again, I'm feeling that very like lethargic, slow, like someone's like trying to walk through, like, you know, when you're in, in an ocean and you're trying to walk fast and you can't because there's like resistance from the water. I just feel that energy right now. Tell me about the Two of Wands reverse. Why is this Two of Wands reverse in the main energy here? The moon, Pisces energy. Again, someone doesn't know. They don't know what to do. Isn't that what I said when I first set down this one? Not when I first set down this card, but that's kind of the energy I was picking up. They're unsure which path to choose, or unsure of wh what to do. What else can you tell me about this Two of Wands reverse? Two of Cups. This has to do with a partnership here. This Two of Cups. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords. It's like someone is stuck about what to do. Not sure. Fearful as well. What's this hangman about? What's the hangman doing here? Oops. What's the hangman doing here? The sun reversed. Bottom of the deck. What is this? What is this card? Oh, I think this is like a card for the for this deck specifically. So just, you know, don't mind me. Oh, and then there's the five of pentacles right behind that. So this makes perfect sense. I feel like they're thinking about how unhappy they are, how left out in the cold they are, feeling lonely, maybe even depressed. Tell me more about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Justice reversed Libra energy. Things feel unfair, unbalanced. Once again, unbalanced. Or in you know, there's an unbalance. There's a, a um something's off here. <laughs> and again, it's like your person's doing some serious thinking about this with the hermit at the bottom really trying to seek answers, uh, maybe even listening to their intuition for the first time, figuring out their next steps here. And it has to do with this partnership. Tell me about the judgment card. Tell me about judgment. Nice judgment here. Four of swords, re de definitely. Remember what I said about waking up? This is, this is someone that's restless, has done all of the thinking and healing that they can do, is ready to get up and move again. Someone that maybe was quiet, uh, pensive, just thinking, is ready to wake up, get up from this table. Can I get one more for the judgment card? judgment here page of wands reverse I feel like there was no very little communication or, or no communication nothing that really took off here or your person never took that that necessary step to get something started something moving here yeah look what's at the bottom the high priestess so it's like something hasn't been said someone's keeping something to themselves here 
So tell me about this death card. What is death about? What is death here? Ah, nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. There's something that they want. Tell me more about death. Devil and the tower. My goodness. My goodness. You know what I'm getting here? Your person, whether they caused an ending or their behavior led to an ending of some sort or separation of some sort, I feel like it was their own ego or they thought they were getting what they truly wanted. And I feel like this ending was probably more shocking or more... It affected them more than they thought it would. Um, I have Capricorn energy with the devil here. It's almost like they haven't been able to let something go. They've been bound to this. They could have also been tempted by something else. Tempted by, you know, you know, the grass being greener somewhere else. Thinking that they were making the right decision here. Thinking they were getting their wish granted. And I feel like if this was an ego, if this was you know, temptation, if this was something, I mean, I feel like it didn't give them what they thought it would give them because I have someone very um, heartbroken here, disappointed. Tell me about the King of Wands reverse. Why is the King of Wands reverse? I feel like whatever uh, tower this is, Whatever this tower symbolizes for you, Aries, as you're sitting there, and of course, if this is resonating for you, please leave me a comment. Let me know how it's resonating because I love to know how the readings resonate for everyone. Um, whatever tower this is, I feel like it has kept someone bound. They have not been able to let this tower go. Whether it's because of guilt, loneliness, regret, Whatever. Tell me about this King of Wands reverse. Oh. I'm just going to pick these up like they fell. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, Aries. <laughs> Page of Cups reverse and Three of Swords. Pain, 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 pain. Disappointment, heartbreak, pain. Your person is not coping well with whatever happened. With whatever separation took place. The lovers at the bottom reversed. I mean, it is so clear here. Actually, I'm not even going to clarify because, I mean, it's super clear. Actually, hold on. Yeah, I feel like someone walked away from this situation and I feel like after that, like nothing worked out for them. Like, no, like there was just no progress for them. Nothing that, you know, more disappointment and heartbreak. Like it just, it just didn't work, work out for them. They weren't able to get away with whatever they thought they were going to get away with or have that happiness that they thought they were. It's like someone left for this nine of cups and it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. All right, Aries, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy how I read. And I hope that you all have a great rest of your week and take care.